Babwe runs from January to December, with three terms, broken up by one-month holidays, with a total of 40 weeks of school per year. National examinations are written during the third term in November, with O-level and A-level subjects also offered in June. There are seven public, government, universities, as well as four church-related universities in Zimbabwe that are fully internationally accredited. The University of Zimbabwe, the first and largest, was built in 1952 and is located in the Harare suburb of Mount Pleasant. Notable alumni from Zimbabwean universities include Welshman N-Cube, Peter Moyo of Ama Pupesi, Tendai Bidi, Chenjerai Hove, Zimbabwean poet, novelist and essayist, and Arthur Mutembara. Many of the politicians in the government of Zimbabwe have obtained degrees from universities in USA or other universities abroad. National University of Science and Technology, NUST, is the second largest public research university in Zimbabwe located in Bulawayo. It was established in 1991. The National University of Science and Technology strives to become a flourishing and reputable institution, not only in Zimbabwe and in Southern Africa, but also among the international fraternity of universities. Its guidance, cultural values, is the encouragement of all its members and society of those attitudes of fair-mindedness, understanding, tolerance, and respect for people and views which are essential for the attainment and maintenance of justice peace and harmony at all times. Africa University is a United Methodist-related university institution located in Manicaland, which attracts students from at least 36 African countries. The institution has been growing steadily and has steady study material and learning facilities. The highest professional board for accountants is the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Zimbabwe, ICAS, with direct relationships with similar bodies in South Africa, Canada, the UK, and Australia. A qualified chartered accountant from Zimbabwe is also a member of similar bodies in these countries after writing a conversion paper. In addition, Zimbabwean trained doctors only require one year of residence to be fully licensed doctors in the United States. The Zimbabwe Institution of Engineers, Z, is the highest professional board for engineers. Education in Zimbabwe became under threat since the economic changes in 2000, with teachers going on strike because of low pay, students unable to concentrate because of hunger and the price of uniforms soaring making this standard a luxury. Teachers were also one of the main targets of Mugabe's attacks because he thought they were not strong supporters. The Zambezi River in the Mana Pools National Park. The Zambezi River is the fourth longest river in Africa, the longest east flowing river in Africa, and the largest flowing into the Indian Ocean from Africa. The area of its basin is 1,390,000 square kilometers, 540,000 sq, my slightly less than half of the Niles. The 2,574 kilometer long river, 1,599 Mai, rises in Zambia and flows through eastern Angola, along the northeastern border of Namibia and the northern border of Botswana, then along the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe to Mozambique, where it crosses the country to empty into the Indian Ocean. The Zambezi's most noted feature is Victoria Falls. Other notable falls include the Chavuma Falls at the border between Zambia and Angola, and Ngani Falls, near Sioma in western Zambia. There are two main sources of hydroelectric power on the river, the Kariba Dam, which provides power to Zambia and Zimbabwe, and the Kahora Basa Dam in Mozambique, which provides power to Mozambique and South Africa. There are additionally two smaller power stations along the Zambezi River in Zambia, one at Victoria Falls and the other one near Kaleen Hill in Eichlinch District. History. Archaeological records date human settlement of present-day Zimbabwe to at least 500,000 years ago. The earliest known inhabitants were probably sand people, who left behind arrowheads and cave paintings. The first Bana-speaking farmers arrived during the Bantu expansion around 2,000 years ago.
Societies speaking Proto-Shona languages first emerged in the Middle Limpopo Valley in the 9th century before moving on to the Zimbabwean highlands. The Zimbabwean plateau eventually became the center of subsequent Shona states, beginning around the 10th century. Around the early 10th century, trade developed with Arab merchants on the Indian Ocean coast, helping to develop the kingdom of Mapungubwe in the 11th century. This was the precursor to the Shona civilizations that would dominate the region during the 13th to 15th centuries, evidenced by ruins at Great Zimbabwe, near Masbingo, and by other smaller sites. The main archaeological site uses a unique dry stone architecture. The kingdom of Mapungubwe was the first in a series of trading states which had developed in Zimbabwe by the time the first European explorers arrived from Portugal. These states traded gold, ivory, and copper for cloth and glass. From about 1,300 until 1,600 the Kingdom of Zimbabwe eclipsed Mapungubwe. This Shona state further refined and expanded upon Mapungubwe's stone architecture, which survives to this day at the ruins of the kingdom's capital of Great Zimbabwe. From C1450 to 1760, Zimbabwe gave way to the kingdom of Mutapa. This Shona state ruled much of the area of present-day Zimbabwe, plus parts of central Mozambique. It is known by many names, including the Mutapa Empire, also known as Mwe Mutapa or Monomatapa, as well as Munhu Mutapa, and was renowned for its strategic trade routes with the Arabs and Portugal. The Portuguese sought to monopolize this influence and began a series of wars which left the empire in near collapse in the early 17th century. As a direct response to increased European presence in the interior a new Shona state emerged, known as the Razwi Empire, 1684-1834. Relying on centuries of military, political and religious development, the Razwi, meaning destroyers, expelled the Portuguese from the Zimbabwean plateau when, by force of arms, they continued the stone-building traditions of the Zimbabwe and Mapungubwe kingdoms while adding muskets to their arsenal and recruiting a professional army to defend recent conquests. Around 1821, the Zulu general Mzilakazi of the Cumulo clan successfully rebelled against King Shaka and established his own clan, the Ndebel. The Ndebel fought their way northwards into the Transvaal, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake and beginning an era of widespread devastation known as the Mfeking. When Dutch trekboers converged on the Transvaal in 1836, they drove the tribe even further northward with the assistance of Tiswana Baralong warriors and Griqua commandos. By 1838, the Ndebel had conquered the Razwi Empire, along with the other smaller Shema states, and reduced them to vassaldom. After losing their remaining South African lands in 1840, Mzilakazi and his tribe permanently settled in the southwest of present-day Zimbabwe in what became known as Matibleland, establishing Bulawayo as their capital. Mzilakazi then organized his society into a military system with regimental crawls, similar to those of Shaka, which was stable enough to repel further Boer incursions. Mzilakazi died in 1868. Following a violent power struggle, his son Lobingala succeeded him, Kral. Also spelled Kral or Kral, is an Afrikaans and Dutch word, also used in South African English for an enclosure for cattle or other livestock, located within a southern African settlement or village surrounded by a fence of thorn bush branches for cattle or other livestock, located within a southern African settlement or village surrounded by a fence of thorn bush branches, a palisade, mud wall, or other fencing, roughly circular in form. It is similar to a boma in eastern or central Africa. In Curaco, another Dutch colony, the enclosure was called Koral, which in Papiamentu is translated Kira, still in use today for any enclosed terrain, like a garden. Etymology In the Afrikaans language a kral is a term derived from the Portuguese word curl, cognate with the Spanish language corral, 
which entered into English separately. In Eastern and Central Africa, the equivalent word for a livestock enclosure is boma, but this has taken on wider meanings. In some Southern African regions, the term crawl is used in scouting to refer to the team of scout leaders of a group. Homestead, the term primarily refers to the type of dispersed 